Assalamu alaikum everyone, my name is Abdullah bin Faisal and I am a first year medical student at the Aga Khan University, Karachi. First of all, welcome to the video and second of all, let's just dive deep in into the medical entrance exams of Pakistan. So let's start with an MDCAT. My experience with an MDCAT was very different from other people because I was an A-level student and I had to, um, from the very start, study all of the FSC books and then grasp the concepts that weren't there in my own syllabus and then practice a lot and eventually the competition was just getting tougher and tougher every year. So by that perspective, if you are an A-level student or even if you are an FSC student, I still suggest that you go through all of your um, FSC books because I believe that they are the basis of every medical entrance exam in Pakistan. Okay. Following that, make sure that you start early on, make sure that you practice a lot and for, for when I say practice, I mean use resources um, uh, such as question banks, um, you get them from whatever conventional academies you go to, you can get them from online places like medangle, premedical.pk and all of that and make sure that you start practicing early on. Okay? You can even go by this approach that you do a particular topic and then you um, look for resources for that particular topic. So there are different ways you can go about it. Um, then I, I, because since I'm at Aachen University, which clearly implies that I gave the AKU test. So for in particular about the AKU test, I'd say that you need to understand that there are five components of the Aachen University's entrance exam. Uh, on the, in those five components, there are three sciences that are the biology, physics, chemistry, and then there are three. Um, then there are two other components: the science reasoning and the maths reasoning portion. Now, in these portions, you need to understand that you don't have to learn mathematics, um, A-level maths, or or any such thing. Really, okay. It clearly states it's the reasoning portion. So it basically is there to test your critical thinking skills. Now the reason mo most people are scared of this part is because most people do not score in this part and the reason most people do not score in this part is because they are unable to manage their time. They start with the first two portions, uh, first three portions, biology, physics, chemistry. Um, usually they have 15 MCQs each but that keeps changing every year, sometimes they're 20, sometimes they're 15. It also, these three portions also have um, a negative marking system. So for, for instance, you get an MCQ wrong, you get a 0.25 mark deducted. So you get MCQ ka aapko mark nahi malaga, and then you get a little mark deducted as well. The reasoning portion, however, does not have negative marking. Ab, how did I prepare for all of these portions? So for the sciences portion, you need to understand that it is a concept-based concept, concept based, um, questioning um, exam. Hai? So while they have a pattern of conceptual testing that is sort of based on the A-levels, they also make sure that every concept that they test is taken from the FSE or inter books, right? And then there are questions that are just latent facts. For example, um, if you come across the question, okay, um, Einstein, um, on, um, on, what, on which achievement of his did he receive the Nobel Prize award, right? And then there are options like E is equal to MC square and the photoelectric effect and all of that. Um, if you're from A-levels and you haven't studied the inter books, you won't ever know that So for some reasons uh, and for certain reasons, I would always suggest A-level students to switch to inter books before um, giving the AKU test. And I would suggest the same to people from any other board essentially that your go-to books are your inter board ki books, hai, right? In the board ki books, ke I would suggest doing Punjab board and federal board. Okay, I won't suggest any other board. Ha, if you feel like you want to study any other board, that is your choice. I have studied them, so I will talk about them. Alawa, some people tend to go and study SAD books. And I understand SAD books because SAD books are easy to comprehend. Uh, people that are, you know, the, that are familiar with the A-level method of study, they switch directly into the books pe switch karna is not that easy sometimes. SAD books are a good buffer between those. So that's why SAD books are work for some people. I haven't, I did not have the time. Most people out there don't have the time, especially not this year. So I would suggest go to all of the other resources once you're done with your basis of the books. Um, achha, iske lava, let's talk about maths and science reasoning. So for maths and science reasoning, I did not essentially prepare anything. 
but i'll tell you what my batchmates and what my friends generally did to prepare so first of all i i know that some of the students out there they use kangaroo maths questions and which is a very good tool ikmc questions they start from level 6 they keep going upwards start from level 6 start practicing those are your cognitive and critical thinking skills that are tested so they keep going up and waha se aap practice kar sakte hain maths reasoning ke liye iske alawa kai log sat maths padhte hain aur sat maths ke questions practice karte hain which is fine because agar aap sat maths ke question kar lete hain to aku maths reasoning ke questions aapke liye halwa ban jate hain theek hai but it is not necessary that you do sat however you can थोड़े compiled past papers or maybe sample questions jaise uh, ek dogar husain do, uh, sorry dogar brothers ki book aati hai anis husain ki ek book aati hai ya isi tarike se med angle ke upar science reasoning ke questions maujood hain to you start doing questions from those banks and practice a lot um practice time management skills aur is tarike se aapka aku ka test inshallah taala ho jayega so that is it for the aku test video and i will catch you guys very soon um with the video for you know acing whatever next steps to come theek hai to best of luck for all of your entrance exams in pakistan Allah.